What's up, Earth signs? This is for the Virgos, Tauruses, and Capricorns. I know I'm wearing a green shirt and I have a green screen behind me, so if my body is see-through, just fucking, just, just mind your business. It's a lesson learned, and next week I will know to never wear this fucking shirt <laughs> ever while filming. <laughs> oh, if you are interested in a personal reading that's linked in the description below... I filmed, I didn't film actually, I recorded the water signs just now and forgot to hit record on my camera. So luckily you guys get video and audio today, unlike the water signs. So consider yourselves lucky. Let's just jump right in to the reading. Ace of Swords just popped out. That seems to be like the... And here it is at the bottom of the deck. Seems to be the... Connecting energy between all of the signs. The moon. Just jumped out at me. <laughs> it's the uh, quite literally the opposite of the uh, Ace of Swords. But let's see what the first three cards out are. Two of Swords... Knight of Swords. This is another common card between you guys and the water signs. Okay, so here's what I think. I think you guys, the earth signs, have a bit of... are dealing with a bit of confusion in a situation right now. Um, and make this make sense to you because, again, just like the water signs, I'm not seeing a specific area of life that this is affecting. This is just mental energy and big, big energy. The moon is, the moon is a card about, it can be fears, suppressed fears, suppressed emotions. It's our trusting of our intuition when the road's not clear to us, when things aren't completely clear, which makes sense because with this, conf you know, the Two of Swords, kind of a little bit of this confusion card. I mean, if you look at the Two of Swords, she's kind of in the dark. Homegirl is just trying to trust her own mental faculties and intuition. With the moon in, in this corner right here, the intuition does play a part. I think that you guys might be treading on a little bit of a path that's unknown or or even faced with two separate paths that are b both unknown and kind of not knowing where each is going to take you in the long run or something like that. Could be that. Um, again, the moon, the moon kind of gives this this quality of having two paths laid out before you or at the very at the very least being at odds with two opposing energies because you have this animalistic nature of the moon and then you have this domesticated nature of the moon and you're kind of being pulled in two directions um so there could be I mean, this could play out in so many different scenarios, right? There could be two different people in your life. One that makes you feel grounded and um, at home with yourself and makes you feel safe. And another one that makes you want to live and go explore and run around naked in a field under the moon. It could, it, it could be that, again, could be two different jobs. One where it's like, this is a risk. I don't know where this is going to lead me. Um, and the other one where like, will I be bored here? You know what I mean? It could be two, it could, there could be something going on like that where there's two opposing factors in your life that you are confused about and, and are having a tough time making a decision about these things. Um, if it's not that, it's just you're confused about something and need to make a decision about something and you don't know where, you don't know fully what the 
consequences of your decision will be just yet. So you are either not making the decision or haven't made the, the decision or having a hard time. And when the Two of Swords comes out, I want to just say this. There is um, an element of drowning out the outside voices. This person needs to be alone in their own energy, in their own... in their own space in order to make the right decision or in order to, yeah, I would say make the right decision, right? So you may need some, I don't wanna say solitude unless the hermit comes out, but you may need some like literal time alone at the fucking beach by yourself your spot where your thinking spot in order to figure this situation out but when the knight of swords comes out that's twofold for me that's a card that says a you will quickly figure things out and get the answers you're seeking either from outside sources or um something else and b you again this is very quick so within this week you could be getting those answers right at the time of you watching this give yourself maybe two three days uh you will have received those answers that you're seeking I, and i i i say receive but there's also a level of you discovering them within your own mind so just just keep that in mind. Let's see what else wants to come out for the Virgos, Tauruses, and Capricorns. <laughs> wow. 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 Holy shit. Three of uh, pentacles at the bottom of the deck, right? Love to see it. That's all about teamwork, collaboration. Could be a project that you're working on with other people. Could just be job oriented. This could very well be have to do with your career. Um, more, more expansion cards. This Eight of Wands is a very good card of, again, more communication information. It could be... Um, could be even just expanding to meet new people who point you in the right direction. This is progress. This is rapid change and growth in a good way. When I see this card, I'm going to I'm going to try to express to you how this has played out. And then on top of this, by the way, you're getting the fool card, which is about new beginnings. And again, like I said, there could be some of you guys who are on the fence about maybe making a move to a new job or a new location, starting fresh somewhere else, I can tell you this, you guys can do this on your own. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, that's financial um, independence, but that's just somebody who has really worked their ass off to build what they wanna build and now they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. And I really see whatever this thing is, working out for you quickly by the way you guys don't see this and that's the funny thing is you guys don't see this coming that's where this moon is is coming into play and, and this this tiny little bit of confusion on what to do and where to go you guys don't see how expansive this really is going to be for y'all the eight of wands I need to re I, I don't know why. I don't I don't normally do this. But I have to. I have this book, this little reference book. 
The on-the-go energy of this card may feel a little overwhelming, but try to see the opportunities that are being presented here. If faced with a lot of choices, see it as a positive. More information means better decisions. What, what the fuck did I say this entire reading? You may get sudden unexpected messages or love that's been stagnant going into fast forward. Whatever you need to be ready for change, embrace it and enjoy the adventure. So something's going to be, it's almost like a catapult, right? It's almost like finally releasing the, the arrow to set you into motion. That's what the Eight of Wands energy is about. So y'all are about to be set into motion and it's a new thing. So that love thing about like, oh, a current love, this is brand new. This is completely brand new. And this could have to do with love. I'm not really getting that from this, but um, it could. It, it, I mean, anything is possible. So just make it make sense for you. Let's see. Let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. Okay. So we have Lunar God, the Masculine. I'm going to read that to you what that means it's time to step forward and lead be the leader in your own life you have more power than you think it's time to formally learn more enroll in a course or learn a new skill offer your protection to someone weaker than yourself take steps to improve your health and vitality May the positive attributes of the masculine, masculine align with me. While lunar gods are rare, usually their realms are the solar, they're conspicuous when they appear. The Australian Aboriginal deity of the Wanarua tribal area, Bayame, encourages us to observe the laws of the land and to appreciate the beauty around us. Bayame is uh, depicted with having big eyes, no mouth, teaching us that sometimes beauty doesn't need to be spoken about, just witnessed with the eyes of our head and our heart. The Norse god Mani, the moon himself, teaches us the wise uh, to be wise about the passage of time. The Mesopotamian sin shows us how to um, ask about the future and how important it is to protect the weak. There are many more. The traditional positive attributes of the masculine, such as strength, physical vitality, power of will, shielding, and protection of the weak, are important for anyone to adopt, no matter their gender or orientation. Should you pull this card, it's asking you to step up into your power, your uniqueness, and offer your guidance to those who may need it. So there's that. Let's pull... Yeah, <laughs> this goes with the fool. I can't make it up. You got Freya, phases and cycles. It says, there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So if you guys are moving on to something new and different, um, just know that this new thing is... is, is it almost feels like it'll either catapult to you or you're meant to be catapulted into this new beginning or something like that. So just remember that not all endings are fucking bad. Let's see. Pull one of these. Achievement! Like I said, there's really, uh, you know, nothing more to say with that. I'm kind of getting ace of pentacles vibes with that um you guys could be really moving into this energy of finally being like again ex exaltation at the bottom of the deck feeling that power control right behind it feeling like you're 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 in control of your own situation um or you can be in control of your own situation beautiful energy do not worry about where this road or these these decisions will be taking you because regardless i see this happening for you guys so that's that i love you guys very much peace out my earth signs talk to you guys next week bye